Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I think I'm gonna vlog today. I'm feeling like a vlogging today. I'm having a good start to my day. It's a fresh start, new week. It's a Monday. I actually just got back from a doctor's appointment. That was a consultation for getting my tubes removed. I talked about it with my doctor. She was amazing. And I will update you guys in another video. I think I'm just gonna make a whole separate video on the whole process of that, how it goes, you know, everything I need to do, how the surgery goes, and then the post, post-op, I guess is what you could call it. If you guys watched my recent video, the Q&A, <clears throat> I talked about how I've been wanting to get that done and I finally took the step, I got the appointment done, I got the procedure scheduled, and I'm very excited. The appointment went so well, it was so quick, they got me in super soon for the surgery, and the doctor was amazing, she was straight to the point, she was very informative, and just an amazing doctor. Anyways, so today I need to get some groceries. I need to just like run a few errands. And I'm just gonna take you guys through the day, honestly, just an average weekday in my life. I need to switch the laundry really quick. I don't have a lot of laundry because I got most of the laundry done on the weekends. My bun right now is just a little out of control, but I just really don't care. I just needed my hair out of my face and this is how I'm wearing it today. If you guys watched my tackle to-do list, video I showed that I got new dining room chairs and the table finally came in. I want to show you guys our beautiful new table from Louis Bona. I have mentioned them before on my channel. It's actually where we got this bench that we use in the dining room. I love it because you know it's this like leathery material and it's wipeable which that is something I wanted to change all of our furniture to other than couches and chairs. A mistake that I made having kids was getting upholstered furniture. And these are the bar stools that I showed a while ago that I got. I just love them. They're like metal base and then they have that wipeable leather looking material and I got them in this nice brown color and they've just been amazing and they're also really comfortable too so this is their carlton solid wood dining table you guys know i've been wanting a new dining table for so long so i'm really really grateful for this that they sent me this it is so beautiful so beautiful i love the wood finish i'm trying to get away from the mass amount of gray that i have in my house i still will have little bits of gray like i like the gray curtains still but I definitely want some more warmer colors, you know, around the house. So I think that this goes perfect. I love the way that it turned out. It was super easy to put together. Honestly, it was just two pieces that you put together and then you put the legs on. So very easy. I got just the table because I did want to get the separate chairs and I already had this bench right here, but they do have a set that comes with the table and two benches that look identical to you know like the wood finish on the table i have the 59 inch one because you know this room is not that big and that's the size table that we need for this room but they do have a 71 inch table which is a lot bigger if you need it for like a bigger space this table is on their site right now for 359 just for the 59 inch table. I love the crisscross down here and I love that it has that black metal bar. So it goes really well with the black metal chairs. Look at how beautiful it is. It's so nice. And the wood has this waterproof material on it so it makes it you know, easy to clean and just to take care of it in general. Also you guys, like I said, I wanna add a little bit of warmth to the house, you know? I'm kind of wanting to add a little bit of color throughout the house so I'm thinking I'm thinking I might want to paint this room like a not a sage green almost like the green no I don't know a green or a blue and if it was blue it'd be like a a darker blue I almost want the walls to be this color of the sleeve I feel like it would look really good and I would love to have a rug under this I feel like a rug would make it you know tie together better but it just doesn't work with carpet and the room's not big enough to have the correct size rug. With carpet, it doesn't work. It gets all bunched up and the kids always trip because it's just not big enough. But yeah, those are kind of my plans. Let me know what you think for a paint color if I, you know, ever do end up painting this room. I don't know. I like it. Like, I like this color, 
but this is the color of every single wall in our house. So definitely check out Louis Bonas site. I'm so happy with all the furniture that we got from there. They've held up really well so far. You know, the stool and the bar stools have held up so well. They're really good quality, especially for the price. Everything is super affordable on their site. So I will have this table. I'll also have this other stuff linked and you can go check out their site, check out everything else that is on there. And you guys can use my discount code, which is ROSE15, and that will get you 15% off. Isla wants me to move the gymnastics bar down. This bar that we got them has been so amazing. All of them love playing on it. I had this on the highest setting for Graceland and Hazel because they like it up there. But for Isla, since she's in school though right now, I'm just going to move it down. Mommy fixed it. I used the Sam's Club like nugget couch for the mats under and they can also like stack them up to however high they want. We also have this gymnastics mat <laughs> under here. Woo, good job. Yeah. She's strong, baby. I recommend all this stuff. Even this balance beam that we have is amazing. It's folded in half right now so you can store it, but they use all this stuff every single day. The nugget couches, the balance beam, the gymnastics bar, and the gymnastics mat. And I'm pretty sure this is all from Amazon other than that couch. That's, you get that at Sam's Club, but I will have all this linked. I actually think I'm going to curl my hair a little bit. I just don't feel good at all when I have a bun in my hair. We're gonna take 10 minutes to curl our hair and feel a little bit better about ourselves. Is anyone else's bathroom literally 90 degrees? The entire upstairs of our house is a lot hotter than downstairs. It's definitely a venting issue. We've tried closing the vents downstairs because it gets really hot downstairs. Like it's really, really, really hot downstairs. Like when you go in the downstairs bathroom, it feels like you're in a sauna it's pretty hot up here and then in the main floor it's the coldest the point is is that when i get ready in here i have to open up the window or i will have at least 50 hot flashes that was a close one i just paid 150 dollars for this new lens because i broke my last lens it got jammed and it was just like really bad quality so I just bought this new lens. I need to be more careful with my camera. While I'm out today, I need to return some things. I think I'm gonna take the kids to McDonald's. You got milk? Yeah, milk. Okay, give mommy a minute, okay? There you go. <laughs> Isla loves to sit on the counter now because whenever she's, this is a mom hack, whenever she's, and like wants me to hold her but I'm trying to like cook or just do something it's usually in the kitchen I just set her on the counter and she just stops okay this one's all ready so a few weeks ago me and my sister went shopping and you guys I found these amazing jeans like best jeans ever they were the first pair I tried on I got them at Marshall's on sale for $16 and I loved them when I got them, but I have not worn them yet, and I'm going to try them on, and I hope I still love them as much as I did when I tried them on. These are the jeans. They fit everywhere perfectly. They fit my butt good. They fit the waist how I want. They fit my thighs how I want, and they're long enough, too. They're like a mix between flare and straight. Like, they're not super flare, but they're also not straight. I'm not used to wearing these kind of jeans. I always wear skinny jeans, but I'm trying to branch out a little bit. So I think I'm going to put some of these like Adidas sneaker type shoes I have on and that's the outfit. Oh, I got an applesauce pouch in my pocket. Ah! Good job. Thank you. Go ahead, strong girl. Great job. Thank you. Nugget meal? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> Me and Bubby will split one of these. Yeah. Dr. Pepper. You want to grab one of those? I'm going to grab No, but that's okay. You can still play. Grab one of those. At home. 
Okay, we just got back. We were gone for like three and a half, maybe four hours. We went to Aldi to get groceries and then we picked Grayson up from school. My total at Aldi was 150 or 155, I can't remember, but I feel like it was cheap for everything that I got. Potato chips, tortilla chips, apple cinnamon oatmeal, three packs of chicken flavored rice, these peaches again, three boxes of mac and cheese, fruit strips, cheddar turtles, two cans of green beans, Parmesan cheese, marshmallow cereal, apple pouches, a single box of tissues, bag of onion, a bag of these little baby potatoes, some dishwasher pods. I've never tried these, but I needed them. Like we have none left and I was there, so I just picked these up. Tropical blend frozen fruit. Uh, the younger girls have been liking making smoothies in the morning. Some frozen stuff, these crinkle cut fries, mac and cheese bites, pepperoni pizza, chicken fries, my favorite chicken pot stickers, some of the broccoli bites, alphabet cookies, a loaf of Italian bread, bananas, some of this coleslaw that I'm gonna put in with like some ground beef, some whole milk vanilla yogurt, some of the medium salsa, blueberries, two packs of strawberries. Their produce was actually really good this time. Some beautiful looking green grapes, a pack of chicken breast, some bacon. I'm gonna make uh, cabbage and noodles and I just needed to get the bacon. Baby Bell cheese. This is a jar of salsa that I'll pour in with that chicken for that salsa chicken and two packs of the Danimals smoothies. Pack of apples, a giant pack of paper towels. These paper towels, I just realized, because I haven't gone in store in a while, I usually do a pickup, but the prices are always jacked, like higher on pickup. On Instacart, these are $15. These are only $13 for 12 mega rolls, $13. That is so cheap compared to everywhere else. And they're the same quality as Target, Walmart, any of those store brands, they're the exact same. White vinegar for laundry, I ran out of that. And then an apple juice. 20 minutes into wearing these jeans at home and I'm sweating. They're coming off. Oh my gosh. I just left my camera recording that whole time and it was just sitting here for like 20 minutes while I was washing the fruit downstairs. Anyways, I put our fresh bedding on and I'm gonna fold my laundry now. Patrick's actually home from work today, which he's usually not, but he is today. And I was not expecting it when I got home, but it's low key kind of nice because I can fold laundry. I can do these chores in peace because honestly, when he's home, the kids are like all over him. They get a lot of me, like they give me all day, every day. So it's understandable, but it's also really nice and good for me because it gives me a break as, you know, the main caregiver for our kids. I never hide from my kids, but I just really wanted to fold the laundry in peace. I literally just hid behind the bed and she went back downstairs. All right, I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm making cabbage and noodles tonight. So if you ever wanna make cabbage noodles, it's really, really easy. All you need is egg noodles, cabbage, onion, some garlic, meat. You can do like kielbasa sausage, but we like bacon. So I'm gonna do some bacon and I cook it in the oven. It's the easiest and cleanest that way. You think I need help? Yeah, you need help. I need help? Yeah, you do. Hazel always peels the onions every time I cook with them and the garlic. She's the best at it. I peeled it. Thank you. Look at this perfectly peeled onion. I said it was scary. that's on.
So you add some butter. I usually do like two tablespoons. This is a butter filled recipe and then some olive oil. Cut up your cabbage. I seasoned it and I'm cooking the cabbage right now. And once it gets a little bit soft, I'll add the onion and garlic and then I'm cooking the egg noodles on the side and bacon's in the oven. When that's done, I'll just cut that up and add it, all of this together in one big pot. Oh, I also take a little bit of bacon grease and I pour it in there and just mix it in with the noodles because it adds flavor. Here's the finished result with the nasty bacon pans in the back. A couple days ago, I blew up the bouncy house for the kids to play in. I also brought out this, which is like just a blow up castle. We got like a lot of snow and freezing temperatures here, so we are super cooped up in the house. Yeah, I'll show it once it, once it blows up, I'll show it. And I remembered we have this stuff in the garage and they've been loving it. I've literally let this just sit out for probably a week now. We've had this in here and they play with it every single day. It's just a good way to keep them, you know, entertained in the winter. It's almost all the way up. This is the castle all blown up. So Hazel has been begging me to get her box down. This is like their birth box where I keep just like keepsake memories in them. Is that mine? And she's only ever seen Grayson's. I don't think she's ever seen hers. Is this yours? Oh yeah, it is. It has your first birthday outfit. Here, let me show you. Hold on. This is your little outfit you wore for your pictures. Okay. You were a baby. This is what Hazel wore at the hospital. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Here's Hazel on my belly. I have a box like that for each of the kids. And then I also have, I made shadow boxes. I actually never made one for Isla, but I do have all the stuff. I just never actually put it into a shadow box. I'm about to clean the girls' room a little bit. I have some laundry to fold. I need to vacuum, change the sheets, all that stuff. I'm gonna clean. I literally just told them to stop screaming. In their defense, they're singing, but they're just being really loud. I'm gonna be honest right now. I decided to take away the iPads and video games from the kids because it's just been becoming an issue. I feel like it's really affecting their behavior. And part of it is definitely our fault. Like we allowed them to use them as much as we did. You know, from here on out, I'm gonna try to put better restrictions on it it's hard though like i'm sure a lot of parents can relate to this in the winter it's so hard not just be like yeah go play video games <laughs> for hours or yeah you can watch your ipad for hours like what else are we gonna do when you just run out of things to do it's not gonna come back for a while until you know i see some improvement in their behavior and honestly we're on like day four and i can say i see so much of a difference in them like in every way possible in the way they act in the way they treat each other in the way they treat us their parents in the way that they eat in the way they concentrate like i see a huge difference that's really positive they still get to watch like tv and stuff i do limit that i mean i always try my best to like limit their screen time no matter what screen time it is. Sometimes it's just hard in like the dead of winter when there's nothing else to do and you only have so much that you can do to entertain them and you also need to get stuff done yourself. I'm just trying to like figure out things to keep them entertained. And also something that I've, you know, been working on is like allowing them to be bored because that was something I struggled with before. Like I just felt like they were never allowed to be bored, but like, kids are allowed to be bored and it's good for them to be bored and I see how much that has like helped them as well like allowing them to be bored I've seen them play in ways I've never seen them play before I've seen them get really creative and it reminds me a lot of my childhood like how I've seen them play the, the past few days now that they you know don't have like a screen available to them whenever they want and they actually have to use their imagination and their brains. It really reminds me of how it was like when I was kids and I played with my sisters and the stuff that we came up with because we did have TVs, but you know, it's just, it's not the same as having like an iPad or a video game, a handheld device or something like that. Even though we did have them, like we had the Nintendo, what was it called? DS? I feel like nowadays the electronics are just way more overstimulating. So I just wanted to share that 
in case any of you guys may be struggling with something along those lines um and if we do ever bring like the ipads or the video games back there's definitely going to be more heavy restrictions i think that's key i don't think there's anything wrong with allowing your kids to have like devices as long as there's parental controls on them and you know they use them appropriately and have limits and like restrictions to them but also on top of the regular like parenting and just adult tasks that you need to do that are kind of difficult to do when you have kids that's why a lot of the times we resort to screens add mood issues depression anxiety <laughs> fibromyalgia body pain stuff like that like add that on top of it it can be really really hard not to resort to that some days and i'm not saying that like i'm going to be perfect because that's not possible but i just want to try and do a little bit better with the screens you know Honey, I will get it for her, okay? Well, okay, hey, put these in your jammy drawer, please. I... Just need a little bit. Dip it in this water, okay? okay. For a new color. Oh, there you go. Hi. Isla's fishy, Hazel's kitty, and Graceland's rainbow <laughs> explosion dog. I... This is the story of my life. I was heating up my lunch because I'm so hungry. I'm about to faint. Also making them their lunch. They were obviously painting, so then I had to make sure their hands were all clean when they were done, so I washed off their hands and everything. And then now I have this, and I need to get to this before Isla comes over here <laughs> and tries to get into this. But now the mac and cheese is boiling, so let's put that in there and set a timer. This is still hot, so I'm just going to put that in there until I get to it. Container is still on the counter, so let me just... Let me just put that away. Hazel asked me to cut her up an apple, but she can wait until their mac and cheese is ready. Okay, hold on one second. I also broke a bowl as they were playing. I went to go like get something out of that massive clean pile over there, and this was hiding underneath it. So. And my garbage can's overflowing, so I need to take this out right now. Still haven't cleaned this up. I tried to put a show on for them, and our TV's just like not working. This is exactly why Hi. I'm probably just not even gonna fix this table up because look at it. It just gets what? destroyed and I mean it works. It's the table that they can sit at and make as big of a mess as they want. Three, two, three, Mac and cheese two, is done. One. Oh, but wait, I haven't cleaned that yet. Okay, now we drain the mac and cheese. I just spent like the past hour trying to get Isla to nap and that was a fail because she's not napping. I'm quickly switching over this laundry before we leave. I have like 30 minutes to get all the kids ready, get myself ready. Hazel is going to ballet, so I need to get her ready for ballet. And I need to pick up my niece. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and defeated today. It feels like one of those days. All right, it is 3.16. I have to leave at 3.30. All the kids are ready. They just got their shoes, their coats on. I'm just getting all of our last minute stuff. I was packing up her bag, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog just because the rest of the day, I'm just gonna be running around and then it'll be late once we get home, I'm sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.